I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Chaco Wayfarer, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. So if you're familiar with Chaco um, shoes in general, you're probably most familiar with their Z sandal, which this is essentially that same exact design, but with a leather um, upper. And then if you like um, this, this kind of open toe design, then that's really great. But they do come with one that has like a toe loop as well. So it's the same exact thing, just with a little bit of additional security. I personally like having a little extra room for my feet to breathe. I just feel like it kind of gives it a more casual look as well. So that's the one that I went with here. So kind of getting a closer look at this material, you can see that this is a full grain leather and it's also leather lined. So in general, what's nice about these is that they do have a, even though they are kind of like on the sportier side, they do really look kind of professional as well. So you can really dress them up or dress them down. So if you're gonna be picking a sandal that you're gonna be traveling with, um, even though that these, these do have a lot of, you know, extra, they have a lot of extra arch support, which is personally why I like them. But if you don't want that extra arch support, you can always go for something flatter, you know, from a different brand. But I think that, you know, this extra, this extra like beefiness and the extra weight is a good trade off for something that you're going to be walking around in all the time. So if you're doing extended travel or really even just like a couple of weeks at a time, you're going to want something that you're going to be able to walk around in all day, still be comfortable, but not have to pack an extra pair of sandals or an additional pair of shoes for when you want to like go out to a nicer restaurant. So what's nice is these kind of walk that middle line, um, but they're even still you know, sporty enough to where you can take them on a hike or um, somewhere a little bit more rugged and feel like they're still gonna be really like secure. So you can kind of see the stitching along here. Um, it's, it's secure, there's only a few places where it's like kind of coming, I wouldn't say it's even coming up, it's like I can just sort of move this stitch here. And really that's like the only, issue that I've been able to find on these shoes throughout the testing. So you can see even on this one here, you know, it's like I can kind of move it, but it's not really a huge issue. So everything in general, this, this whole shoe is stitched really securely. Um, it's stitched and attached to this uh, lower part, to the um, this midsole really well as well. And then on the inside, you have the stitching and where this buckle is, it's like the extra stretch so you do have a little bit of variation so you know a few people online have said that they've had issues with um, kind of how how the shoes fit on their feet so having a little bit of extra room even when it's tightened down completely I personally have very average feet so these are a size 8 and I don't have to get like a wide usually they're just pretty standard for me and I had no issues with a fit. Um, so it's definitely gonna vary, so something to keep in mind. But I mean, what's nice about this leather is that if you wanted to make it even smaller, you can add a couple, of, like you can get one of those like leather hole punchers, um, kind of like a belt, and you can add additional holes if you wanted to. So the fit's a little bit more customizable, um, but I personally haven't had any issues. So that's really sort of the base of this, the whole upper aspect, these um, are metal buckles. They, they have a little bit of branding on it. So right there, and then a little bit of branding on the side. Overall, pretty sleek. You don't really seem, not really noticeable. Um, and then on the base here, and a little bit of an additional branding. So this midsole here, it's a PU, but it's, it's mostly the, the main thing that I kind of want to focus on here is the suede footbed. So I have a love-hate relationship with suede. I think for an outdoor shoe and an outdoor sandal, like it's nice because it gives you that extra cushion and it does sort of absorb moisture. But the, the hard part is that it also absorbs like moisture not from your foot, right? So if you like step in a puddle or you get dirt in there, it's going to really start to absorb. So um, it did happen a couple of times, but you can see that even when, you know, if I like accidentally kicked a bunch of sand and it ended up in the sandal, um, it all came out really easily. So I didn't really have any issues with it, like starting to really like muck up. But this is, I would say, I would definitely say like, if you're going to be walking through somewhere that's like a little bit more rugged, try and avoid like a puddle or something like that, just because this could take a little bit longer to dry and then it gets a little mucky and a little weird. So um, something to keep in mind, love-hate relationship with suede personally. And then on the outsole here, this is um, 
what they call their like Chaco grip outsole. So this is a rubber compound. So it does have a little bit of like a squish to it. And it does have, you know, a fair amount of flexibility just overall with the shoe for comfort as you're walking. Um, but they do, this looks a little bit different from their other Chaco grip ones. And so it doesn't have like that really chunky tread on it. So what it actually is, is what they call their like non-marking, um, their non-marking Chaco grip. So you can see that it's like just kind of flat and then it has like a little bit of a design. So I felt like I had decent grip. There were a couple times where I was like hiking around on rocks and things like that. And I felt like, like I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't take these if I were like a serious hiker. Uh, but if you're going to be walking around all day and you're going to be walking on like cobblestones or you decide to kind of go off the beaten path, then these are shoes that are definitely capable of doing that. So looking just sort of at the shoe overall, it definitely has that that sleek look to it, a lot of versatility, and um, you know you've you've got this shoe that you're going to be carrying around for um, carrying around for however long you're traveling. You want it to be comfortable. I personally like that they have that extra amount of support for the arches. I per I personally have relatively weak arches, so I prioritize arch support when I'm going to be walking around a lot. And this does have that, but something to keep in mind if you don't have arches at all, or if you, you know, there's a little bit of uh, different in like foot shapes and sizes and things like that. It's definitely something to keep in mind because it is so focused on that sort of like ergonomic fit. So there you have it, the Chaco Wayfarer. Thanks for keeping it here at Packhacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.